Hi, it's Dr. Alex Popovich, and welcome to my channel. Today, I will be talking about drafts application and why I like this application so much and why it helps me with my productivity. So let's dive in. You'll ask me why am I talking about another text inputting application. And uh, to be honest, it's because I think this is the best application to um, use on your iOS and the uh, Apple Watch devices. It captures everything text related. And you can do then a lot of different things with this text. For example, you can uh, process it and send it straight away to your email without opening your email application and get distracted by this. If you're doing a research, you can capture this stuff from the desktop and figure it out that way. Uh, and then um, it's the best application to capture the voice dictation. And a lot of us, especially doctors, will capture a lot of text using dictation because we're used to it. We do that in the clinics most of the time. But the most important things about this application is one, when you come to the voice, you can capture more than more than 60 seconds of voice dictation. It has powerful actions where you can automate things that are going to happen afterwards. And the biggest probably thing about this application is that you have to a little bit change the way you do things or how you capture text as a habit. So you download first your application in your app store or on the Mac store. If you want to just use it for a capturing text, it's a free application and we'll sync it across all of those devices. But if you want to make it more powerful with automation and sending it processing stuff and making things quicker, then you can, um, you have to pay for it. What we talk about, about the actions and the most powerful thing is this button kind of here. If you want to add stuff, so you click on that icon here um, and then you add stuff and then you visit the directory. If you want to find anything, this is where you find it, either through the search button. So if I want to do Todoist and figure out all the Todoist actions that someone else has written. Uh, and then basically you just, oh, let's, a task in Todoist and you just push install. And this is pretty much kind of it. So for example, I'm going to go back into the drafts and I'm going to put a new draft into it. I want to send an email. The first line of your draft is going to be the title of your email. And I've just emailed it here, so we'll send it here. And now you can see that it's sent it. And all I have to do is uh, push the um, to button. That's it. And you get confirmation that it's been sent. If I want to send this uh, to Obsidian, um, I can push this button here, send to Obsidian with tags, and it's going to send it. Um, if I want to um, uh, send it as a, uh, as a text, um, add a new action, send text message. And it's going to send it back to me. Um, and it's going to um, um, do this. And I can just push that. Um, and it's going to send me a text. Um, you can um, do the tasks in Todoist 
uh, for example, we'll put a new one uh, with the tasks and it's clean rubbish. If you want to put it in a specific part of your to-do list, like one for me is home, uh, then um, uh, apples and that's in shopping. Um, and each line is basically a new task. Um, kale and then it's going to be shopping. Yes. Uh, and it has to be exactly the same way I've written. Um, and that way you're going to um, send it. And if I want to do that, I'm going to just send it um, tasks and to doist. Now let's say we're going to do this. It's apples, kale, uh, potatoes. And we're going to send it to a shopping list and to do list. And it's just going to ask where to send it to and ask the tasks. And let's go and have a look at that now. And it's added them the way I've spelled them badly. You can also write um, um, templates, for example, things like a daily journal things. So um, what you can do in there, it's basically add a new action and it's basically add a text. Insert text. And um, you can insert whatever text you want to do that uh, you want to figure things out. So um, let's say it's daily journal. And these are just uh, things that I want to do in the daily journal. So um, so we're just going to put the name of that action. Let's say daily journaling. And um, that text uh, and the routines I haven't added this part, so we'll go that way. And uh, um, I want to put it in the pink color, and I want to change to like that one. <clears throat> journaling is spelled one L and I'm just going to save it and it's done and now we want to add so all we have to go is go to that daily journaling and push on it and it's going to be uh, written as your template so it's very easy to write templates or emails that you uh, write every single for organization purposes and drafts, you have tags. So you can just add a tag uh, up at the top. And they're useful so you um, don't have a huge amount of things in your inbox. But you can basically uh, tag them and sort them out by the tags. But uh, the most powerful things about the tags is workspaces in, uh, in, in this way and separate them. For example, I've added quite a lot of different things that I do and added those workspaces. So if I want to um, look at my gadgets and apps, I can just go into that workspace. So if you want to look at the Medora um, or if I can look at a university or anything like that, there are tags associated with um, that workspace. So to edit these is you go into manage workspaces and you can save them in that way. So if you want to, if I want to add a new one, just push new and, and I want to be call it writing or stories 
and I'm going to use the purple one and I want to change the tag and the right let's say that one and then this is uh, filters that I can or tags that I can do to sort it all out so if I put story in this uh, filter and it can have either all or any uh, of these but the most important thing is a bit like that so I'm, I would have some stories so if I go back in and where's the stories it will fall, fall down and uh, find those stories that I have um, tagged in this area there are other things that you can do the, the the way the drafts look like this is not a custom theme for the drafts so if i go here and i go into um here and then we'll go plus and i'll go into visit directory so this is where you get all the different directories but here to sides you also have themes and you can just download the theme that you want and the one that i've downloaded is called dracula so once you've kind of click on it and then install it you can change some things in a theme builder as well in here but once you've installed it what you do is you go into the aa and you can change a different theme for your light as well as dark i tend to just use dark so here you just push solarized and then down there it's a Dracula and you just close it and keep that theme so you can change the way things look like in your draft. You can also change things on your widgets on your phone so you are able by having the different workspaces you are able uh, to put stuff in uh, into your um, widgets. Add and Draft. so here let's say I want to add this one add widgets so now I can so I've added it now if I push and hold push I can edit the widget so I can figure out what I want so I can put this choose and I'll say I want to have the ideas and then gadgets and apps and then uh, Medora notes and then um, university so now if I click directly it goes directly into specific uh, um, uh, uh, workspaces I love using drafts because it's an amazing application to automate lots of processes and process your text and figure out what you really want with your text whether you want to keep it in drafts in a different workspaces processing it and what you're going to do with it afterwards or you're going to send it to places like obsidian or rome for keeping forever thank you very much for watching this video if you have any comments please write them in the area below and i would be very grateful if you subscribe to this uh, channel and that way the videos will come directly into your inbox bye for now